Did you know that nearly 30% of internet users are actively seeking out pornography? It's a staggering statistic that highlights the prevalence of porn addiction in our society today. If you want to break free from the chains of addiction and reclaim control over your life, you need to understand the reality of what you're facing. Many people believe that porn is harmless entertainment, but the truth is far more complex and can have profound effects on your mental health, relationships and self-worth. In this exploration of porn addiction, we will delve into the depths of this pervasive issue, drawing insights from Stoic philosophy that can guide you on the path to self-mastery. We'll tackle common misconceptions, recognize the signs of addiction and equip you with practical strategies to overcome this challenge. By confronting the reality of porn addiction and embracing the principles of Stoicism, you can transform your relationship with desire and discover a more fulfilling way of living. So if you're ready to embark on a journey towards self-discovery and resilience, let's dive in. Feel free to let me know if you'd like any adjustments or additional elements. Number one, breaking free from the approval trap. Imagine waking up every morning with an unshakable confidence in yourself, a peace that isn't swayed by others' opinions, and a sense of purpose that's entirely yours. Picture a life where your decisions are driven by your values, rather than the need for external validation. It sounds like a dream, right? But it's a reality within reach, a life of true self-empowerment, where you're free from the constant need for approval. Our journey today dives into exactly that, the freedom that comes with self-approval and the liberating shift from seeking validation in others' eyes to finding it within. This isn't about shunning others' opinions entirely or closing yourself off. It's about finding balance, independence and a strength rooted so deeply within you that external judgments become background noise. So, why is this approval trap so difficult to escape? At its core, it's deeply ingrained in human psychology. We're social creatures by nature, evolved to work in groups where fitting in often meant survival. In today's world, however, this tendency has been amplified by social media, comparison culture and the pressure to keep up. The approval trap is the constant need to prove ourselves to showcase a highlight reel of achievements, relationships and material success. But breaking free from this trap isn't impossible. It's about learning, slowly but surely, to validate yourself. This journey is one of strength, resilience and reclaiming the power of your own worth. Now let's take a trip down memory lane. Think back to a time in your life when you felt genuinely unapologetically yourself. Maybe it was a moment of creativity, or perhaps it was as simple as spending time with friends who brought out the best in you. Moments like these remind us of who we are at our core, untouched by the expectations of others. We've all experienced that feeling of self-acceptance, even if just briefly. The goal here is to make that feeling our default, our daily reality. Curious about how to start? This series will guide you through lessons inspired by Marcus Aurelius and other Stoic thinkers. These steps will show you how to reclaim your sense of self, prioritize inner peace, and cultivate a life driven by self-respect over external approval. So, are you ready to break free and begin living life on your terms? Number 2. Marcus Aurelius on Self-Validation Marcus Aurelius, the revered Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, understood the weight of public opinion, yet he managed to cultivate a profound sense of self-validation. Imagine sitting at the helm of a vast empire, every decision scrutinized, every word analyzed, and still finding peace in the quiet of your own thoughts. Marcus's life reminds us that, no matter our role or status, we can find strength within a truth he so famously captured in his meditations. His writings are like a conversation with a wise mentor, showing us that validation doesn't need to come from external sources. 
He believed that real power lies in knowing ourselves and that by anchoring our self-worth internally, we can live freely, untouched by the whims of others. Marcus encouraged reflection over reaction, urging us to consider our motives and to act in ways that align with our values, not in response to others' expectations. Think back to a time when you sought approval. Maybe it was from a friend, a family member, or even a stranger. How did that make you feel? Often, we feel uplifted in the moment, but over time, this need becomes a cycle. The more we seek approval, the less secure we feel in ourselves, and so the need grows. Marcus Aurelius invites us to step back from this cycle and to find fulfillment in who we are, independent of others' judgments. Curious about how Marcus's wisdom can be applied today? His teachings show us that self-approval isn't achieved overnight, but is cultivated through daily actions, mindfulness, and reflection. Throughout this series, we'll explore how to incorporate these practices into our own lives, building a foundation of self-respect that doesn't waver with others' opinions. Number three, embracing solitude for self-discovery. In a world that glorifies busyness and constant social interaction, solitude can feel like an unfamiliar, even uncomfortable territory. But solitude isn't isolation, it's an invitation to reconnect with yourself, a time to reflect, recharge, and rediscover who you are beneath the roles and responsibilities. Imagine sitting in the quiet of your own thoughts, away from the noise of the world, and just being. It's a powerful, liberating experience that few take the time to embrace. For centuries, philosophers and thinkers have celebrated solitude as a gateway to self-discovery. By being alone with our thoughts, we are able to understand our desires, fears and aspirations more clearly. In solitude, you have the freedom to ask yourself the big questions. Who am I? What do I want out of life? What values do I hold dear? These moments of introspection allow us to shed the layers of others' expectations and to embrace who we truly are. Take a moment to reflect on the last time you experienced true solitude. Was it a walk in nature? A quiet morning before anyone else was awake? In these moments, many people find a sense of clarity and calm, a return to themselves. However, solitude can also stir up discomfort, as it often forces us to confront parts of ourselves we'd rather ignore. But in facing these parts, we grow stronger, more resilient, and more in tune with our true selves. Curious about where to begin? The art of solitude isn't about removing yourself from society, but about setting aside intentional moments for self-reflection. Over the course of this series, we'll explore how to create a space in your life for solitude, making it a source of strength rather than loneliness. Through this journey, you'll discover that solitude is not a retreat, but an expansion of self-awareness, leading you closer to a life that's truly fulfilling. Number four, controlling desires to build inner peace. Imagine waking up each day with a mind free from constant cravings, whether for material things, social approval, or the endless pursuit of pleasure. Picture the peace of mind that comes from knowing that what you have is enough and that who you are is enough. This isn't just a fantasy, it's the foundation of true inner peace, something we can all achieve by learning to control our desires. We live in a society that often encourages the opposite. Ads are designed to stoke desire, social media amplifies it, and sometimes even friends or family push us towards endless striving. The constant message we receive is more, more success, more possessions, more experiences. But this kind of desire leads us away from peace and into a cycle of dissatisfaction and stress. To break free from this, we must look within and begin the process of controlling our desires, a principle that philosophers, especially Stoics, have championed for centuries. It might sound challenging, maybe even intimidating, 
After all, desires are part of being human. They drive us to seek out what we need to survive, to connect with others, and to pursue our dreams. But controlling our desires doesn't mean denying ourselves happiness or fulfillment. It means distinguishing between what brings us genuine joy and what is simply a temporary fix. This journey to control desires and cultivate inner peace is about self-mastery, discipline and understanding what truly matters in life. Nostalgia often reminds us of simpler times, maybe a period in our childhood or a moment in the past where we felt completely content with what we had. Think back to such a memory. Perhaps it was a holiday meal, a walk in nature, or just a quiet day without the pressure to do or get more. In those moments, we are reminded that happiness is often found not in acquiring more, but in appreciating the present. By controlling desires, we can bring that simplicity back into our everyday lives. Curious to start. This section will explore practical stoic exercises and strategies for identifying and reducing the whole desires have over us. With these tools, you'll find that peace isn't something you need to chase. It's already within you, waiting to be embraced. Number five, transforming reactions to social opinions. In a world driven by social media, peer pressure, and the constant need for validation, it's all too easy to find ourselves caught in the web of others' opinions. Imagine waking up, checking your phone, and immediately feeling the weight of others' judgments pressing down on you. Happiness can feel elusive when you're constantly measuring your worth against the standards set by those around you. This reaction to social opinions can rob us of our joy and self-worth. Instead of embracing our unique paths, we can find ourselves molded into shapes that fit societal expectations, often at the expense of our happiness. But what if I told you that the key to transforming our reactions to social opinions lies not in changing others, but in changing ourselves? To begin this transformation, we need to cultivate a mindset rooted in self-awareness and resilience. The Stoics teach us that while we cannot control what others think or say, we can control our responses to it. This realization is liberating. It frees us from the chains of external validation and empowers us to embrace our true selves. When we shift our focus from seeking approval to seeking understanding of our own values and beliefs, we begin to develop a solid foundation of self-acceptance. Nostalgia often surfaces when we think about moments in our lives when we felt truly confident in who we were without the need for anyone else's approval. Maybe it was during a creative endeavor, a time spent with friends, or even a quiet moment of reflection where you felt perfectly aligned with your inner self. Recalling these moments serves as a powerful reminder that your worth isn't contingent on others' opinions. Instead, it stems from who you are at your core. Curiosity plays a vital role in this process. Have you ever stopped to wonder why you care so much about what others think? What drives that need for approval? By asking these questions, you can begin to uncover the motivations behind your reactions and make intentional choices about how you respond. In this section, we'll explore practical strategies for reframing your thoughts about social opinions, setting healthy boundaries, and ultimately transforming your relationship with external validation. Number six, living in the present, the path to freedom. What if I told you that the key to unlocking a happier, more fulfilled life lies in the present moment? Imagine stepping outside your door and feeling the sun on your face, the gentle breeze in your hair, and the sounds of nature surrounding you. In that moment, everything else fades away. The worries about the future, the regrets of the past, leaving you with pure, unadulterated presence. This is the essence of living in the present, and it is a powerful tool for achieving true freedom. In a world filled with distractions and the constant pull of our to-do lists, 
Living in the present often feels like a lost art. We find ourselves racing towards future goals or dwelling on past mistakes, robbing ourselves of the beauty that exists right now. But Stoicism teaches us that the present is all we truly have. By anchoring ourselves in the here and now, we can free ourselves from the anxieties that plague our minds and truly experience life as it unfolds. As we journey through this exploration of present-mindedness, let's take a moment to reflect nostalgically on times when we were fully immersed in the present. Think back to a moment of joy, perhaps a family gathering, a spontaneous adventure with friends, or a peaceful afternoon spent reading a book. In those instances, time seemed to stand still and worries faded into the background. These are the moments we should strive to recreate, embracing the fullness of life as it happens. Curiosity sparks our desire to delve deeper into this topic. What practices can help us live more fully in the present? How can we shift our focus from the past or the future to cultivate mindfulness? In this section, we'll discuss various techniques such as mindfulness meditation, gratitude practices, and conscious breathing exercises that can help ground us in the present moment. By incorporating these strategies into our daily lives, we can unlock a newfound sense of freedom and joy. Number seven, seven day challenge, building self-respect. Are you ready to embark on a transformative journey towards building self-respect? Imagine dedicating just seven days to prioritizing your own well-being, embracing your unique qualities, and recognizing your inherent worth. This seven-day challenge is designed to help you break free from the approval trap and cultivate a profound sense of self-respect that will last a lifetime. On day one, take a moment to reflect on your values. What truly matters to you? Write down your top five values and consider how they align with your current actions and choices. This exercise will serve as a compass, guiding you towards decisions that resonate with your authentic self. Remember, self-respect begins with self-awareness. As you move into day two, commit to practicing positive self-talk. Notice how often you criticize yourself or dwell on perceived shortcomings. Challenge these negative thoughts and replace them with affirmations that celebrate your strengths and achievements. Recognizing and celebrating your uniqueness is a crucial step in building self-respect. Day three invites you to set healthy boundaries. Think about areas in your life where you may feel overwhelmed or taken for granted. Establishing boundaries is a powerful act of self-respect that signals to yourself and others that your needs are valid. On day four, take time for self-care. Whether it's indulging in a favorite hobby, spending time in nature, or simply enjoying a quiet moment with a cup of tea, prioritize activities that bring you joy and recharge your spirit. Remember, taking care of yourself is not selfish, it's essential for your well-being. As you approach day five, focus on gratitude. Reflect on the people, experiences and opportunities that have enriched your life. By cultivating an attitude of gratitude, you shift your perspective away from lack and towards abundance, fostering a deeper sense of self-respect and appreciation for your journey. Day six is all about embracing vulnerability. Share your thoughts and feelings with a trusted friend or family member. Allowing yourself to be seen and heard fosters connection and deepens your self-respect. Remember, vulnerability is not a weakness, it's a sign of strength and authenticity. Finally, on day seven, celebrate your progress. Reflect on the changes you've experienced throughout the week. Acknowledge the efforts you've made towards building self-respect and commit to continuing this journey beyond the challenge. Nostalgia can enrich this experience as you recall moments when you felt proud of yourself or accomplished something meaningful. Let these memories fuel your motivation as you embark on this transformative journey. Curiosity will propel you forward.
What will you discover about yourself throughout this week? How will your perspective shift as you prioritize self-respect? This challenge is not just a one-time event, it's a stepping stone towards a more empowered and authentic you. Number 8. The Marcus Aurelius Challenge for Lasting Change Imagine having the wisdom of a Roman emperor guiding you through life's challenges. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher and leader, offers timeless lessons on self-mastery and resilience. In this section, we'll delve into the Marcus Aurelius Challenge, a powerful framework for fostering lasting change in your life. To begin, take a moment to reflect on the principles that Marcus Aurelius championed. He taught that our thoughts shape our reality and that by mastering our minds, we can cultivate inner peace. The challenge is to practice these teachings daily, creating a transformative impact on your life. On day one of the challenge, start a daily journaling practice inspired by Marcus Aurelius. Spend a few minutes each morning or evening reflecting on your thoughts, feelings and experiences. This practice of self-reflection will help you gain clarity and insight into your internal world, allowing you to identify areas for growth and improvement. As you progress to day two, focus on the concept of acceptance. Marcus Aurelius emphasized the importance of accepting what we cannot change. This means letting go of the need to control external circumstances and recognizing that our power lies in our reactions. Embrace this mindset and observe how it changes your perspective on challenges. Day 3 invites you to practice gratitude. Reflect on three things you're grateful for each day. This simple yet profound practice can shift your focus from what's lacking in your life to the abundance that surrounds you. As you cultivate gratitude, you'll develop a deeper appreciation for yourself and the world around you. On day four, challenge yourself to confront your fears. Marcus Aurelius believed that fear often stems from our own thoughts. Take a moment to identify something you've been avoiding due to fear. Consider what steps you can take to face this fear head on, empowering yourself in the process. As you move into day five, practice compassion. Treat yourself and others with kindness and understanding. Recognize that everyone is fighting their own battles and by extending compassion, you create an environment of support and connection. Day six encourages you to embrace impermanence. Life is ever-changing and nothing lasts forever. Reflect on the transient nature of existence and use this awareness to deepen your appreciation for the present moment. By accepting impermanence, you free yourself from the burden of attachment. Finally, on day seven, commit to a new habit that aligns with your values. Whether it's a health-related goal, a creative endeavor, or a personal development project, take concrete steps towards making this habit a part of your daily life. Remember, lasting change requires consistent effort and dedication. Nostalgia can play a role in this challenge as you recall moments of resilience and strength from your past. These memories serve as reminders of your ability to overcome adversity, fueling your determination to embrace change. Curiosity will propel your journey forward. What insights will emerge as you engage with the teachings of Marcus Aurelius? How will your perspective shift as you challenge yourself to grow? This challenge is an opportunity to cultivate a deeper understanding of yourself and the stoic principles that can guide you towards lasting change. Number 9. Success Stories Inspired by Stoic Wisdom Success can be defined in countless ways, but one thread unites those who achieve it a commitment to personal growth and resilience. Throughout history, individuals have turned to Stoic wisdom to navigate challenges, build character, and achieve their goals. Let's explore some inspiring success stories that exemplify the transformative power of Stoicism. Consider the story of Thomas Edison, the brilliant inventor who gave us the light bulb. Edison's journey was fraught with failures and setbacks, 
yet he embodied the stoic principle of perseverance. When asked about his numerous unsuccessful attempts to invent the light bulb, he famously replied, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. Edison's mindset of viewing failure as a stepping stone rather than an obstacle exemplifies the stoic belief in resilience and learning from experience. Nostalgia resonates in the stories of those who faced adversity yet emerged stronger. Think of individuals like Oprah Winfrey, who rose from a challenging childhood to become one of the most influential media moguls in the world. Oprah often speaks of the power of self-acceptance and embracing one's true self. Her journey is a testament to the idea that when we cultivate self-respect and honor our unique paths, we can achieve greatness. Another powerful story is that of Viktor Frankl, a Holocaust survivor and renowned psychiatrist. In his book, Man's Search for Meaning, Frankl describes how he found purpose and meaning even in the darkest of circumstances. His insights reflect stoic teachings on the importance of mindset and perspective. Frankel's ability to choose his attitude amidst unimaginable suffering is a profound illustration of the stoic principle of finding strength within. Curiosity drives us to seek out more stories of individuals who have harnessed stoic wisdom in their lives. From athletes like Serena Williams, who embody resilience and focus, to leaders like Nelson Mandela, who exemplified the power of forgiveness and inner strength, the lessons of Stoicism resonate across diverse fields. As we reflect on these success stories, it becomes clear that the common thread is the commitment to self-mastery and personal growth. Each individual faced challenges, yet they emerged with a deeper understanding of themselves and their purpose. Their journeys inspire us to cultivate resilience, embrace our unique paths, and pursue our dreams with unwavering determination. Number 10. Choosing self-respect over approval. As we reach the conclusion of our exploration, it's essential to reflect on the journey we've taken together. Breaking free from the approval trap requires courage, self-awareness, and commitment. Choosing self-respect over approval is not a destination, but an ongoing process, one that empowers us to embrace our authentic selves and live life on our own terms. The path to self-respect is paved with challenges, but it is also filled with opportunities for growth and transformation. By practicing self-validation, embracing solitude for self-discovery, and controlling our desires, we lay the foundation for a life that is rich in meaning and fulfillment. As we navigate the complexities of social opinions and expectations, we find strength in the knowledge that our worth is inherent and not contingent on others' perceptions. Nostalgia reminds us of moments when we felt empowered and confident in our choices. These memories serve as a source of inspiration, urging us to continue on the path of self-respect. As we reflect on our past experiences, let's carry forward the lessons learned and the resilience cultivated. Curiosity remains a driving force in our quest for self-respect. As we explore new practices, challenge our beliefs, and engage with the teachings of Stoicism, we open ourselves to a world of possibilities. Each step we take towards self-respect strengthens our foundation and enriches our lives. In choosing self-respect over approval, we not only honor ourselves, but also inspire those around us. By embracing our authentic selves, we create a ripple effect that encourages others to do the same. This collective journey towards self-acceptance fosters a culture of compassion and understanding reminding us that we are all worthy of love and respect. So, as we conclude this exploration, I encourage you to take the lessons learned and apply them in your own life. Embrace the power of self-respect, choose authenticity over approval, and embark on a journey of self-discovery that will lead you to a life filled with joy, fulfillment, and purpose. 
As we wrap up this exploration of breaking free from the approval trap and confronting the reality of porn addiction, I want to take a moment to acknowledge your commitment to personal growth. Drop a hundred in the comments. If you've stayed with me this far, it shows you're part of the rare few who are dedicated to seeing things through to the end. Your journey towards self-respect and mastery starts with the choices you make today. If you're truly serious about transforming your life and overcoming the challenges ahead, make sure to join our community by subscribing to our channel. Together, we can navigate these complex issues, support each other, and share wisdom that fosters lasting change. Remember, your path to a more fulfilling and authentic life begins with you taking that first step.